So to actually go into the heavyweight section with all the guys and and my mates very used to it was a hmm. it was a weird experience. It was quite intimidating for uh, for me, even though I've so, been there many times before. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just noticed the way you responded. We like with all the guys there. It's like, uh, what was that feeling like? So um, I, I want to delve into that a little bit for you because yeah. there's so, so many women go through the same thing. It was just, yeah. This is the dude section, you know, this is the guy section. You're just going to get, you're just going to get stared at or you're going to get guys yes. coming up to you just telling you, oh, you know, oh, I see what you're doing. You need to do this and this and this. And it's like, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Get the fuck out of here. You know, yeah. <laughs> just, uh, um, but also, yeah, you're just surrounded by, you're just surrounded by guys who, in you know, to most uh, amateur women or beginner women, just they look like they know what they're doing, and it's kind of intimidating. Not only because you don't know, but you're surrounded by people bigger, stronger than you. Yeah. So, what was that experience like? It was. Um, uh, do you know what? And there were women there as well, getting on with their stuff, um, which was mm. lovely to see. And I'm I'm glad I had my mate with me because I didn't know what I was doing, and even mm. though. I am an ex-personal trainer and I'm rehab and all this sort of stuff. My mate was actually like, yeah, that's not how we train you. It's like, we don't, yeah. we don't do that like that. When you're, when you're lifting heavy, we do it like this. And, mm. and it was completely out of my remit. So it, it was, um, uh, she was like my safety net. Had she not been there, I wouldn't have liked it at all. Um, sure. Okay. Interesting. Um, the, 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 the feeling of, uh, what wouldn't you have liked the feeling of being in on being exposed of, being exposed right being exposed um not really knowing what i'm doing worrying mm. that i'm going to get it wrong um looking like i'm weedy and that i yeah i don't know what i'm doing and that i'm i'm putting these tiny little weights on and there may be a guy waiting for the squat rack and he's looking at me and and mm. you know it's like come on get on with it and yeah it's all of that and I, I was put into the position that I know many women have been put into, and it is intimidating. And even as a professional, I found it intimidating because it was yeah. out of my comfort zone because it's not Pilates yeah. and it's not rehab and it's not martial art and it's not jumping up and down. It's, it's lifting heavy weights that I've never really done before. And um, yeah. I loved it, but... The thought of going back in, which I won't be, I'll be training with my mate uh, elsewhere. The thought of going back into that gym, I was like, mm, I, I'm not sure I could do it on my own. I'd have to, she'd definitely have to hold my hand and take me round because I'd feel quite nervous. And isn't that interesting as a, as a fitness professional that I would feel like that? And really, no one's looking at you, to be fair. No one's <laughs> really looking at you. Like the guys don't really care, but it's your perception of that, I think, as well. Mm -hmm initial walking in yeah yeah i mean like you could be a fitness professional but like you say you don't have any you don't have any, you don't have a footing in this you know it's just no it's, it's a new experience for you as well so you're just like hey you know, i'm a beginner teach yeah. me you know and yeah. uh, and then you get that complete beginner feeling all over again and you're like whoa this is what it's like to yeah. feel like i don't know what i'm doing and to feel a little bit intimidated by the surroundings and feel nervous because you know Am I holding people up like you are suggesting? Like, oh, there's a guy who's waiting for a squat rack and I've just got my teeny tiny weights on there relative to what yeah. I think he'd be lifting, all that kind of stuff. It's like, nah, it's, um, it's what you said, perception. It's just you got your own perception of it. You're, uh, uh, it this is what you think other people are thinking. Um, I mean, even if it's true, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, I know. You're there, you've got to do your thing and... Uh, and yeah, just massive kudos to you for stepping up to the plate and taking on a challenge which uh, was completely unfamiliar to you, like not just you, yes. but to other people as well. People who yeah. go, who find themselves in that same, in that same situation. It's like, nah, just don't worry. Like, well, I, could, I could say, don't worry about it. It's like, okay, notice it. It's notice hard it. to move put through it. it. Yeah. yeah just put it aside. It's just like, just keep doing the thing you're doing. And like after one session, two sessions, three sessions of doing that, you just start to realize your routine. You start to zone out from whatever else is going on. And, um, and another thing which is important is you've got the help of somebody who's way more skilled and qualified mm. in that field than you are. So that's a excellent way of getting it out of your, getting those nerves out, getting that intimidation out of your system because you start off on the right foot. So that's, yeah. uh, that's an important thing to take on board is if you don't know what you're doing, uh, hire somebody who does.